Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Professor John R. and I'm your instructor. In this video, I'm going to answer a question I get all the time in my classroom, and that's, how do I make a toggle clasp? Well, if you're new to jewelry making, let me explain first what a toggle clasp actually is. Now, in front of me, I have a drawn chain, and this chain is shut with a toggle clasp. It consists of a little loop right here that's crossed by the toggle bar. Now, the important thing to remember about a toggle clasp is that the loop has to be large enough that if I pass the toggle through, it has to be able to move freely and be able to drag the chain after it without any unnecessary friction. And once you pull it shut, it just is shut. It's also an attractive element that if the clasp happens to move to the front of your necklace while you're wearing it, if it ends up next to a pendant, say, it's gonna look attractive. Now, let me show you what the toggle clasp it consists of. It's basically a large loop that has a connector loop, and the toggle, likewise, has a connector loop as well. To judge how long to make the toggle, what you need to do is you're going to place the smaller connector loop into the large loop and pull that little connector loop to the far extreme of the diameter of the opening. And you want to cut off your, your toggle just outside the boundary of the perimeter of the large loop. And to determine the other end, just push your toggle to the opposite extreme, and you'll see right where it crosses this perimeter boundary, and you're going to saw off right there. Now, if you're not sure about this length, and you're not sure how to start with what length of toggle, go ahead and use a larger or longer wire, solder the connector element, and then just move it back and forth and mark it appropriately with a permanent marker. Now, if you want to make something that's a little more decorative, something that's going to have a little more flash to it, you could do something like I have here. And what I've done is, in this case, the toggle is equipped with bezel cups. Now, I could put cabochon stones of any kind or color into these bezel cups. And you'll notice that if I push the toggle to the extreme, notice that the bezel cup never touches the, the boundary of the uh, outside of the larger loop. That way, the bezel cup will never wear because it, of touching that loop, which means that the bezel cup is going to remain solid and I'll never lose that stone. Likewise, if you were to put pearls on posts at either end of the toggle, you don't want the pearls to touch this, this loop of the clasp. So now you know the secrets of the toggle clasp. The Online Jewelry Academy has plenty of videos in its playlist on our website at onlinejewelryacademy.com that cover things like how to twist the wire, how to make loops or jump rings, how to solder them together by using butt joints, or how to attach these bezel cups by using sweat soldering. And if you're interested in making a drawn chain, we have a paid course called Colorful Silver Jewelry that you can find on udemy.com. This is a comprehensive course that covers everything that a beginner needs to know to start making jewelry like a pro. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe to the video. Just hit the button in the lower right-hand corner of your screen and hit the bell so that you'll receive weekly notifications about new Online Jewelry Academy videos. Thanks for watching.